Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. Have you ever heard heard of or used SWC before? Um, well, I haven't. Uh, I just heard of it uh, recently. It's kind of a new alternative uh, of uh, Babel. Um, as the name says, SWC is Speedy Web Compiler and it's Rust-based platform for the web. Um, yeah, it's actually, uh, is already uh, used in Next.js 11. If you take a look at the update log for Next.js 11, you could see here that actually Next is using SWC from this version and to replace with uh, the Babel and Tercer. Babel, uh, as the name says, we actually, Babel is so important in, in nowadays uh, web front uh, development, right? Uh, it is used to to uh, transpile uh, the um, and the latest JavaScript syntax uh, to the to the out, uh, older one, older syntax, and uh, like adding a polyfill stuff, and to make it supporting all different kind of uh, browsers uh, with the older ones or newer one. Tercer is used to do the minification uh, to help reduce the size of output. So used to, we used this before, but now, yeah, obviously people are get enthusiastic about Rust. So somebody, I think this is this is the guy Don Yun Kam. This genius just to create this Rust-based um, compiler, um, just to replace the Babel, I think. Yeah. So you can see that it's twenty times faster than Babel on single thread, and seventy times faster for on four cores. So this is really astonishing, right? Um, it, the the description of the Next.js blog actually said that uh, overall, uh, with the SWC, the the dev, okay, where is it? Uh, yeah, here. Generally, is twice as fast uh, as before uh, about the build. So yeah, you can see here like uh, transformation drops from. 500 millisecond to 10 millisecond. Wow, it's just 10 millisecond. It's just a, like instant, right? So cool. Well, why it's so fast? Um, as a, uh, I have a, I have no clue. I just know that uh, Rust is cool. Rust is performing. So yeah, that's the that's the reason. Because because for all those all those code analysis, the transformation, it's all done in the by uh, the Rust. In the binary, it's not um, binary code. I think it's not run in uh, in JavaScript, so it's faster. It's much faster. And um, remember that this is called Rust-based platform for the web. It's not just for uh, the transpile of j uh, just JavaScript. It's as you can see. Um, get started. It's actually support minification. But even though it's still under construction and also it supports bundling yeah it's kind of like replacing the webpack right so actually i think if, what they're doing is that to replace all the dev tools into one unified one tool chain it's this swc and uh, yeah like like for uh, webpack now you, you have this what is called they have one called uh, yeah, SWC pack, SPAC. Oh, SWC pack. Um, and minification is already supported natively. And uh, yeah, if you take a look at the config, it's just to feel like the webpack, right? Entry, output, and there will be more configuration supported, I think. Yeah, so that's it. If you take a look at the uh, uh, name, you see that. It's kind of similar to something else called uh, ReSWR, right? If the the the, <laughs> the web page actually is the same, uh, if here here you can see the styles are all the same, SWR, SWC, uh, because the 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 author uh, of SWC has already joined the Versal. So yeah, obviously they are doing the same similar fashion and have this uh, similar naming. Uh, start sense like just every abbreviations SWC SWR and uh, yeah SWR is also very interesting I'll, I'll make a video for that um, in the coming days 
Okay, let's go to the playground for a little bit. Okay, if we click here, we go to the playground. Yeah, it just feels like a transpiler. Like, uh, it's supposed to TypeScript and target, we can target like S5, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if we just write some code like um, enum, some enum. This is uh, TypeScript specific. The syntax, you can see that it will output some code, uh, ES5 code, like user closure here. And uh, yeah, just do the uh, assignment. Nothing fancy, it supports the, the, the JSX and Minify, Compress, Mangle, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is just super cool. Um, just a replacement for Babel and uh, it's much more performant. Uh, it, remind me, it reminds me that there's another project called Rome. Actually, they have this... Uh, I haven't used Rome ever. ever. Um, I just heard of it. You can see that it's actually Rome is currently being written in Rust. I think Rome actually has the first idea of like uh, having this one tool, like two chain containing all those uh, those tools we need for front end dev. Like you see that formatter, minifier, compiler, and linter stuff. So Rome will be one for all. But but I think they didn't use the Rust at the beginning. I think they're still using JavaScript stuff. And SWC is trying to try to uh, replace the Babel with Rust. And so you can think, think that they, they have these different initiatives, but, but now they kind of like uh, uh, merged, right? Uh, go to the same direction. So this tool will be, uh, I believe that they will be competitive with, uh, with each other just fiercely in the following one year or two years. Well, with support from Versal, with the popularity of uh, Next.js, I would say we just uh, gamble on SWC. It will be much better if you're using React, using Next.js. Uh, so I won't, I, actually I won't um, use ROM. And, and it is in the future, you see that they're still reading Rust. Well, we have this already um, like production ready uh, compiler. Cool, and uh, what is anything else? Yeah, one thing about Babel, actually, uh, I um, I take took a look at uh, this parser and used it for this the API to do some code transformation before. It's actually not that difficult, I would say. Uh, it's the original engine for this one is called Babylon, right? I guess uh, it's have for a corn. Uh, okay, heavily based on a corn, and they have named it as Babylon, I guess. Um, anyway, the 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 transpiler, the logic is not that difficult. They just analyze the code, um, tokenize it, and put those word, those syntax together, and uh, create a tree. Of, of, of what is that? AST, abstract syntax tree. So then, uh, it means that the compiler would under literally understand what the, the structure of the code and then you could just do whatever you want like if you want to replace the new syntax um, to the older one you just get it you just find the new syntax on the tree and then you just replace the node and then you just generate the code yeah just to glue them up and you can do the transpile so the idea is not not difficult uh, but I think the the work is very, um, there's a lot of work, I would say. It's it's, uh, it's tiresome to cover all those cases, uh, you know, these error cases. And if you take a look at the plugins, uh, okay, here, I think it's SWC. Uh, wait a minute. Here, migrating from Babel. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of pl plugins you need to follow. Uh, the newest syntax proposals about JavaScript. So some of them are not uh, production ready, like uh, stage one, so you might not want to use it. Like uh, stage three, maybe if it's stage three, yeah. yeah sp stage three means that it's almost there, um, so you, you can just uh, safely use it. Uh, but stage one, zero, it might still be changing, I guess. Yeah, like this import meta, uh, never know. 
I've never used it before. Partial application, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I'll also, uh, I will also make some videos about this new syntax. So yeah, stay tuned. And uh, kudos for SWC. It sounds really exciting. And uh, let's learn some Rust. Um, yeah, people say that everything should be written in JavaScript. I don't think so. Um, I think you know nowadays if you create Flutter web app or something, um, it doesn't need to be JavaScript if, for your source code. Uh, it just need to be run in JavaScript engine, right? Um, so that because JavaScript obviously is the only one true cross-platform script language. So yeah, you ha you have to run it in JavaScript, and it's still emerging, it's still evolving. So uh, adding new abilities. To, uh, by the uh, by the browser providers so yeah but the source code we could just write it in in rust in in, in, um, in dart or in kotlin i don't know so i, I think that, that that's kind of cool because you know get something run and get something developed it's totally different right so the de developing developer experience is also very important you don't want to like uh, like do you still remember the, like, I was so in Nineman uh, when we first met the hot module reno reload, right? Before we just okay do some changes, let the let the bundler like I do remember ground something uh, like build it and then reload it. Well, it's kind of cool, and now we have this hot module reload and just to re just reload the specific module port of the web page. Just instantly, it's so cool, and now. We have as this SWC and just to make makes things much faster and uh, why not? So yeah, I, I'm I'm pro on this one. Yeah, let's use it and learn Rust. Uh, well, is this just an introduction video? Uh, hope it helped. And uh, yeah, I, I'll bring more uh, videos about these new technologies um, in the future. Stay tuned. Bye bye.